Good morning. As you know, uh, we have a big problem in the U.S. inspiring kids to enter engineering fields. So 72% of U.S. engineers have had a relative that's an engineer. And uh, because that's the only way, basically, you can find out about engineering. How, how else can you find out? Well, TV is another source of information for, for kids. And if you look at the TV heroes, uh, most of them are doctors, lawyers, and forensic scientists. There is only one engineering hero in today's mainstream TV, and that's Homer Simpson. <laughs> so, of course, TV stations try to make money, so I can sort of understand. But there are other opportunities that we miss. For example, NASA. NASA is the most extraordinary and most amazing engineering entity in the United States. Remember when they made the rover that made it to Mars? NASA called it a science miracle. Two years later, the rover failed, and NASA called it an engineering error. So. <laughs> so there's only one way, folks. We can get all kids exposed to engineering, and, uh, and we can take away the, the have to have a parent or a grandparent engineer to become an engineer. And that's to introduce engineering as a regular discipline in school, starting in kindergarten. So the same way kids learn about the natural world through science, they learn about the human-made world through engineering. And I would argue that 98 of the world around us is really engineered and is not natural the way we live today. So my life's mission and the museum's mission is to introduce engineering into, into schools, in all the schools in the United States and now the world. Uh, we started the National Center for Technological Literacy about uh, 10 years ago. And we do three things. We advocate for the introduction of engineering in curricula. So we have become the where is Waldo in all the committees, uh, both at the federal and state level. Whenever they discuss math and science, we're there to, to cheer, be the cheerleaders for engineering. We have become the biggest uh, curriculum development, uh, engineering curriculum development developers for, uh, for, uh, developers for children in the world. Our books uh, have been used by over six million kids. Um, and the numbers multiply constantly. Uh, and also, we provide professional development for teachers, and so far we have worked directly or indirectly with about 70,000 teachers worldwide. I want to thank ASME for this great honor. Uh, I want to thank on behalf of the museum, a ASE, and also I would like to thank ASE for honoring my colleague, Christine Cunningham, who is the developer of Engineering is Elementary, our, our, uh, one of our best products. And if you want to learn more about what we do, Christine is a distinguished speaker on Wednesday morning. Thank you very much.